Howdy, howdy, folks. Welcome to Grim Gaming. Uh, this is Grim. Today is August 24th, 2024. And we're going to be playing the daily challenge on GeoGuessr. Uh, we're currently getting closer to 240 days into our streak. And, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue that today. Um, it does look like uh, maybe this time there won't be any uh, accidental... Uh, well, uh, accidental steps like I did yesterday with that one was my fault. Uh, but the where that you know actually throws a a step in there that was never taken. Um, so hopefully that's the case here. Um, yesterday we actually did pretty good, even though uh, I did not think we would. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. As always, there are five three-minute rounds. Moving, panning, zooming is allowed. We will not be moving, and we're just going to jump into this, see how things go. Uh, looks like it's going to be Brazil. We do have what looks appears to be Portuguese, um, Brazilian uh, pole here. Unfortunately, I can't see if there's a um, area code right here, which would help. There's no guarantee there would have been an area code because a lot of times they don't have them, but uh, it looks like that should be an area code as well. Is, is that like a eight or a six? Xerox, nope. Rua, Dr. Frega. Oh, shit. All right, so. Just trying to think here. Uh, eight would be up here, right? Am I right? Eight should be up here. So if we just plop it right there. Uh, would that be a good one though? Definitely see it being up there. There's no, uh, there's no, um, I guess we'll just go with that. I have no idea. It ended up being. Pernamaluco. Is that an Ani sign? I don't think it was. But, uh... Just want to make sure I didn't miss something important. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. Okay. All 
right, good. I didn't miss anything that I can see now. Um, honestly, not a bad guess for what it was, um, but uh, still, that uh, really does take a lot of uh, a lot of score out right away. Um, is this going to be like uh, Mexico? No. Is this going to be Santa Cruz? So, like, I thought this would be Mexico. I got the yellow line, yellow center line dashed, white outer lines, kind of green. Looks like uh, some... Uh, uh, Cactus here, so this definitely could look like Mexico, but we got this white car, no antenna. So my only thought here is that this is actually. I'm glad that we are we we are able to move because if it was like started facing this way, that looks white to me. <laughs> Let's see here. It does look like a, a wooden pole. Um, so yeah, I mean, it could be other places, but it's probably going to be like the Santa Cruz area um, if it is Bolivia, just because it's green, well, if that makes any sense. So, and it ended up being El Palo Material Solar. Um, actually, uh, about halfway between Sucre and Santa Cruz, so... Um, Honestly, a hedge right over here would have been bad. Um, well, I mean, it obviously would have been great, but like a hedge between Cochabamba, Sucre, and Santa Cruz, like, yeah, that would have been great. <clears throat> uh, still less than 80 miles. I will definitely take that. Um, we do have what looks appears to be Gen 4 coverage in Europe with the blue uh, thing. Fabia, not sure. That's not useful. Too far away to see you to read that. Um, okay. Gen four. I mean, this could be anywhere in the continent, really. Uh, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, this could be. Is this? Is this? Probably like uh, Czech, Slovakia, something like that. Possibly Austria. I don't know. It doesn't look like an Austrian sign over there, but uh, yeah. I mean, Czech Slovakia looks pretty good with these trees. Um, it doesn't look Baltics to me. Um, but I mean, I could maybe kind of see something like that as well. Um, we're just going to go here and see. It was actually Czechia, which is, I believe, where I placed it, yes. Um, so actually not too off, far off, up near Estrada. Um, it looks like it's going to be Israel here. But oh, we got an Israeli flag. Um, so I was going to say we got the uh, black and white curb here and the yellow plates. Um, but then there's an Israeli flag as well, so um, that does kind of give it away. We should also have a longer antenna here um, and some Hebrew. Um, not really sure. Um, it does have a lot of palm trees, so maybe. Maybe Tel Aviv. Um, uh, nope. Yeah, like I said, uh, with the palm trees, I'm thinking maybe Tel Aviv or something like that. Um, 
That's actually a pretty good guess, almost a 5k. Um, yeah, um, I will definitely take that. Um, Argentina or Uruguay? Looks like maybe Uruguay with the white square post here. Um, we also have the um, middle finger looking uh, thing here. It's like a cattle guard there, black car. So with the black car um, and then the yellow solid white dashed, uh, you can have a, a yellow solid white dashed in a couple different places. Um, Finland, New Zealand, Argentina, or Uruguay. Um, without the black car, um, like I could see this as New Zealand, um, but with the black car, it's definitely not. So the black card here is it down to Argentina or Uruguay. And then this sign here um, appears to narrow it down to just Uruguay. It is also fairly flat. Um, so that does help with the case for Uruguay since Uruguay is super flat. Um, but uh, yeah, so it just looks pretty rural. Uh, but like I said, it's very... Uh, for Uruguay, it's actually quite hilly. It's the only thing, but like that and those poles there, definitely. I wonder if there is a hilly area. So this is hilly up in here. So I would definitely say it's northern, because if you notice, this is super flat in this area. But even with the terrible, terrible... Um, relief coverage they have, you can see that there is some hills in this area. So I would definitely, definitely say this is going to be a northern Chile, or <laughs> Chile, Uruguay. Um, and even should be able to narrow it down to northeastern. Um, so this area right in here, wait, I was in Brazil. What in the world was I thinking? Um, oh my God. Uh, yes. Uh, Editor, edit this out, please. <laughs> um, we knew that this was never going to be Brazil. Um, I literally was just looking for hills on a map, and somehow... Um, did I even zoom in on Uruguay initially, or did I zoom in on Brazil? I was wondering where Porto Alegre came from. Lord. Um... And that was super hilly compared to what I thought it would look like. Yeah, see, like, this here you can barely see any hills at all, if you can. I don't think you can. Like, so, like, when I zoomed in over here and I was like, ah, yeah, there's some hills here. That's, yeah, that's more hilly than I thought. That's because it was freaking Brazil. Are you kidding me? Um, I don't know what I did there. Ah, oh, that definitely, if I, ah, oh, man. About 1,600 points. Let's see how close I was to... Hmm. That may have cost me the gold right there. Um, I will have to do some math to figure that out. So... Um, let me see here. So I was missing, was it 1587? So if I did, well, I mean, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been gold anyway, but it also wouldn't have been a 5k either. So um, I don't know why I'm, yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't have gotten the gold anyway. Um, there's that. So. Um, the embarrassment of clicking Brazil when I'm trying to go Uruguay, however, is 
Lord, I don't even know, guys. Um, <laughs> I, I should have had maybe another 1,000 points there, so maybe 2,100 or 21,000, you know, like, uh, oh, my God, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, well. Um, wow. All right, man. Um, great stuff. Great stuff. Um, regardless, we did manage to continue our streak. And, um, yeah, we got one more day for, uh, you know, for this week. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good day. Bye.